New this morning, homeowners who live near a busy intersection in Denver between 6th and Colfax Avenue say they've seen a lot of crashes over the last three, few years in that area, and it's only getting worse. This morning, 9 News reporter Brianna Fernandez, Fernandez is live along 10th and Lapan and Brianna. Neighbors in that area are seeing some other problems as well. Yeah, and two of those problems, Erica, include either people speeding down 10th and Lapan or ignoring the stop signs. We actually just noticed that about two minutes ago, right before I went live on air. Now, when I spoke to neighbors who have been living here in this area since the 90s, they say that they have seen tons of crashes for years. Some of those crashes have even damaged their property. Take a listen. It's exhausting, though, but when it happens all the time, it just mentally and emotionally, it just always seeing people hurt in front of your house, for something that's so easily avoidable. It's exhausting, it's exhausting. Here are some of the pictures that neighbors actually shared with me. You can see here one car ended up on the sidewalk. Then you have another crash that happened while it was snowing. It ended up damaging a neighbor's fence close to the front door. And most of the people who live here, again, they have seen a lot of change in their neighborhood. RTD is nearby. Then you have West High School and businesses along Santa Fe Drive. So the area tends to get busy with foot traffic. Plus, this is also a cut through for drivers. Several of the people who live here have also reached out to the city for years, wanting any type of improvement for this intersection. A four way stop would give us the opportunity that even when people are going through stop signs, even if one side is, the other side isn't going as fast. Now, according to the city, there have been no fatal crashes at this intersection, but there have been zero to two crashes per year from 2019 to 2023. Then you have five crashes since October of 2023 and then two that happened in June of this year. I actually reached out to the city and they said, quote, based on the recent uptick in crashes, our plan is now to install a four way stop. The city says that that four way stop is finally coming to this intersection, but it could take quite some time, maybe this uh, later this year or next year, because first that they, they say that they have to uh, uh, improve some pedestrian safety in this area and also visibility for the cars who are passing down 10th uh, Avenue and LaPan Street. For now, I'm live in Denver, Brianna Fernandez for 9 News. Brianna, thank you. Police have found a mini